All right, what's up, fellas and ladies, if it's something out there? Um, since I've been doing these videos, I, um, I've had 61 between phone calls and text messages and stuff like that. Guys asking me questions, um, just calling to talk dogs and stuff like that. And I enjoy hearing from y'all, man. Like I said, I love to talk dogs. I'm a little different on it because I was never that young cat that looked to kill a pile of game you know i like to eat some rabbits and stuff like that but it was always about the continuity of the pack of my dogs and i loved it and i was always intrigued with it and i always just tried to get better and better i paid attention that's why I, when, when i really when mr herman silver got me into the rest of dogs um you know I, I really started concentrating on like looking at consistency of pedigrees and stuff like that and matching dogs up to breed because too many guys when they breed they breed for trophies or speed and what is 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 the and look if you like speed I, i'm not saying that but you can't completely breed the nose out of dogs okay so in different terrains you know i was talking to uh pete pete out of missouri i really enjoyed talking to him and uh you know he made a good point we were talking on the phone he was like you know different styles in different parts of the country kind of make like like my style of dog i don't know if it would make it up north you know they have a lot of snow and stuff up there so you know i don't know but uh those are some of the things so, i mean i really i watch and i loved you know kind of the putting the pack together and the continuity of it and stuff and i've really man i mean i, I was like 26 27 years ago when i got into the rest of dogs and um you know, each time I've, I've you know, I've, I've changed bloodlines a, a few times. And uh, I, I feel like right now, for me and what I like, I, I mean, I feel like I have a perfect dog for what I enjoy doing. Since they got grit, uh, I mean, the... Sense is number one for me, man. I mean, that's that's number one. A dog has to have sense. And uh, I, I put that above everything. And the Black Creek Bloodline, man, I mean, they're just smart hounds. They really are. They got a lot of sense to them. Grit. I mean, I, I you know, just said never quit. I mean, I that's me. The hunt, the line control. I mean, it's the stuff I enjoy. But I was, I was talking to a, uh, a guy and some stuff come up and he was asking me, he said, man, it just seems like to me, a lot of guys make excuses and, um, or, he didn't really say excuses. Now this, I'm not going to say the guy's name who I was talking to, but, uh, he didn't say guys made excuses. He just said, seems like, seems like I have, you see a lot of people complaining about like smelling this time of year. And, I'm going to probably make some people mad, but uh, some of these old myths and stuff that's out there, and one that I'm going to tackle today, I'm going to tell you about, is uh, doe rabbits. You know, these guys will tell you that doe rabbits this time of year leave little to no smell. Do I think nature probably helps in that their scent is a little... But let me explain something to you. And I know the old... You know, the old folklore and stuff like that, and guys kind of hang on to it and stuff like that. But I'm going to break some stuff down. You think about it. And always, don't don't just agree with me. Put it out there and and look and watch. And doesn't mean, this is just, I'm telling you, from years of, of watching hounds and, I, you know, I just... When they when they talk about doe rabbits, I mean, it's just... And I've, I've told a lot of guys, and as they watch it, I just, I call, you know, the BS about guys say dogs can't run doe rabbits. I mean, it's complete BS, all right? Do I think dogs have bad days? Absolutely, absolutely. But if I've got to look at the barometric pressure and the dew point, whatever these other things these guys look at, which way the wind is blowing out of and stuff like that, hell, that's depressing before I leave home. When I want to run, I'm going to load dogs up and run, Okay. That's what I do. So as far as all the other stuff, man, it, they, they just, they sell y'all wolf tickets and y'all just eat them up, man. I mean, they're selling you wolf tickets and y'all just eat them up. 
Here's the bottom line. Guys make excuses for their dogs. Period. Period. A guy will get mad. Or, or not get mad. That's the wrong thing. A guy will make fun of another type of dog. But then when a guy calls, he's like, oh, they do that because of this. Oh, that's, that's why they do it. Listen, there is no perfect dog out there. Fast, medium, slow, it does not matter. There is no perfect dog out there, all right? The dog that you're willing to keep is the dog with the least amount of faults that you'll put up with, all right? I, I'm going to use some examples. Some guys might not mind the dog barking the pen. I can't. Mine ain't going to do it, all right? Mine ain't going to do it. They know. You ain't going to bark in the pen, all right? Barking in the dog box. Crapping in the dog box. I've heard all kinds of stuff, man. I mean, guys, I'd never put up with this or whatever else. But you'll put up with something else that, to me, is ridiculous, all right? But the thing that I'll put up with might be ridiculous to you. So, you know, it's it's all about excuses. I don't make excuses. Even when mine do something wrong, I'm going to tell you. If you watch my videos, I'm going to tell you when they mess up, when they make a mistake. Not because I know mine ain't perfect. The doe rabbits, all right? Let's get back to that. I'm going to tell you why. A hound can only run a piece of game as fast as that piece of game is running. So when you got your buck rabbits this time of year, what do they do? They get up, they're gone. They get up and gone. So a dog can get after him, all right? Straight line. Ain't that hard. What's that doe rabbit going to do? She ain't going to do nothing but bobble around, stay real tight in pocket, Okay? She'll double back over tracks. So what has a hound got to do? You just finished running the buck rabbit completely almost out of the state. Bring him back. Now you jump a doe rabbit. Are your dogs geared up? Absolutely they geared up. They just took a rabbit straight away and brought him back. All right? Now you got one that's just bobbling around. Might not go 30 yards from where you jump it. Doubles back. What do most dogs do? They get flustered, whatever, and they quit. They go and do something else. You quit on me? You quit on that rabbit on me? You ain't going to get a feed pan in my house. We're going to grind that thing, all right? So now you got to grind. If you grind, you got cohesiveness, and you work together, they might have to amp it down a little bit. Might be a little bit slower than they usually are, but they can run it. They can run it. They can run the rabbit. We killed those rabbits in February. Absolutely. You ask any guys that go with me, we'll kill those rabbits during February. I don't kill many rabbits, all right? I take some guys gun hunting. I haven't even shot a gun this year, all right? Ask anybody that goes with me. I don't even tow the gun, all right? I'm out there for them. Some of these guys get shots or whatever else. We kill some doe rabbits. But mine are going to amp down and run it like they're supposed to. That's the key. Let me ask you this. You run dogs in March. You run dogs in April. You run dogs in May. You run dogs in June. You run dogs in September. You run dogs in October. Hey, rabbits raise all... Now, I don't know what part of the country you in, but here in Southern Virginia, rabbits going to raise from February almost to about November. Sometimes the end of November. All right? But most time, at least till October. You telling me the good Lord just protects doe rabbits in February and the other months he goes, you on your own, girls. All right, I give you February. I helped you out right there. Now you got to take care of yourself. Your best running months are March, April, and May. Doe rabbits got babies in. They toting babies in. All doe rabbits ain't having babies at the same time. All right? So you got pregnant doe rabbits in also. He's not protecting them in. He just protects them in February. Think, people. Think. Your dogs have to gear down to run the rabbit. That's where the line control comes in. All right, if, if that doesn't interest you, but don't tell me that they don't leave no scent and they can't be ran. We run them all the time. End of January, all the way to October. Run them. All right? Most time I can kind of tell you in those time frames when I'm running one. 
They like to double and come back on the old track. The buck's most time going to get up and go. Because most of the time that buck rabbit is in a territory which is not his natural territory. He's, he's, he's trying to find does. So he's way off from home. That's why he takes off. But anyway, you know, just talking about it, think about it next time when you're out running, man, and watch your hounds. Same way guys will say the smelling was bad early in the morning and the smelling got better in the middle of the day. What? Guys, listen to me. When you go out there, your dogs are amped up, all right? So what does that cause? Dogs amped up. I don't care if you run every day or not. Dogs are still amped up. You're feeding your dogs good or whatever. They're still amped up, all right? So what are they doing? They're competing. They're really getting after it. Even if they're not competing, they're still just gung-ho to go, all right? So they're not really running that track like they should. What happens after a couple hours? They settle down. They settle down and settle in, run like you're supposed to. Same way at the beginning of a football game, baseball game, emotions are running high. Mistakes are made. Then by the time you get to the second inning, third inning, everything, now we got a ball game. Or second quarter, third quarter, now we got a ball game. Guys are starting to execute. They're settling in. The feeling out process gone. Same way with rabbit hunting, man. Same way with rabbit hunting. Anyway, I enjoy your texts. I enjoy your phone calls. Guys, everything I say, take it with a grain of salt. Doesn't mean you need to feel like that. I'm just sharing the things over the many years that I've come across. I do. And I found out for myself just through hours and hours and hours of running and watching hounds, watching different hounds. Just the way I feel. Happy running to y'all, man. Always enjoy, enjoy hearing from y'all anytime, man. I enjoy hearing from y'all. Take care.